At the basic level, all cells in the body have a miniature power plant within called the mitochondria. This is where our cell's energy is produced. The technical term for this energy is called adenosine triphosphate or ATP for short. ATP is formed from oxygen and glucose, both of which are carried to cells by blood flow. Therefore, the mitochondria cannot manufacture normal amounts of ATP. Nerves, most commonly in the extremities, sense this lack of ATP production by sending pain signals to the brain. In some cases, a lack of sensation, rather than pain, is the chief symptom, and this is the main reason for falls. Because the mitochondria are very sensitive to light, infrared light therapy can stimulate ATP production in the mitochondria. That is, if the nerves receive glucose and oxygen through increased blood flow to the nerves. Light energy stimulates the release of nitric oxide from hemoglobin into the bloodstream. When nitric oxide is released from hemoglobin, it enters the muscle cells in walls of the blood vessels. The muscle cells relax as the blood vessel diameter enlarges, allowing more blood to flow through the vessels. Increasing nitric oxide levels in the body offers a host of benefits. Tissues that need to heal require oxygen, nutrients, ATP, and growth factors. Nitric oxide provides an environment for enhanced healing. The key to accomplishing this? Better blood flow. Pain reduction. Pain occurs when oxygen levels at the nerve are too low. Think of how painful your finger becomes if you wrap a rubber band around it. The rubber band cuts off blood flow, thereby depriving nerves and other cells of oxygen. The pain recedes when the rubber band is removed. Increased localized circulation. Nitric oxide is increased locally when light energy is applied to any specific site. Along with it, blood flow increases at the same point. Light is composed of photons. Photons are quantum units of energy. A photon emitted at a specific wavelength or color contains the same energy irrespective of the source. Light near the blue end of the spectrum penetrates about 2 to 3 millimeters. Light at the red end of the spectrum penetrates about 8 to 10 millimeters and near-infrared light penetrates about 20 to 100 millimeters. Near-infrared light is more energetic than visible light, less resistant to reflection and absorption, and therefore penetrates soft tissue to a deeper level. These are generalizations because the more red cells with hemoglobin in the path of the photons, the shallower the depth of the penetration. Remember, hemoglobin absorbs the near-infrared light energy, thereby releasing nitric oxide. The net result of light therapy is a cascade of beneficial chemical reactions throughout damaged nerve cells that stimulate healing. This response can be directly attributed to increased blood flow. This enhanced, localized blood flow improves tissue oxygenation and therefore plays a role in the following. Reduced pain, which can allow for better sleep at night, as well as reduced burning and stinging sensation in the extremities. Increased oxygenation and finally, increased circulation, which offers the body decreased wound incidences and shorter healing times.